Is the bland and rubbery supermarket tofu killing your soul? It's time to jolt your senses with something stinky. You heard me right. Delicious, pungent-smelling tofu. But what is it? And why does it stink so bad? Is it because of a rare amino acid in the beans? Special bacterial fermentation? Being aged in a dark hole underground? All of the above? You won't have to hold your breath too long. We've got the answers coming very soon. Stinky tofu gives the smelliest French cheese a run for its money. The smell has been compared to wet socks, sour milk, and rotting garbage. I taste my uncle's farm. It's intense. You either hate it. Why would anybody ever eat that? Or love it. I'm kind of into it. If you can get past the stink, the rich taste may take you by surprise. And for once, your instinctive gag reflex couldn't be more wrong. It tastes delicious. Stinky tofu is a nutritional powerhouse. It's rich in protein, lowers your cholesterol, and is excellent for your digestive health. That is, if you can stomach it. There are different stories about how stinky tofu was discovered in China. The one thing they have in common is the brave sacrifice of a struggling tofu merchant, or overworked hawker, who forgot some tofu in a can. When he opened the can months later, far from fainting from the stench, he decided, as one would, to give it a taste. Of course, he loved it. <laughs> Eventually, the stinky tofu was added to the imperial foods served at the Xing Dynasty Palace. During the Chinese Civil War of 1949, two million Chinese people followed the defeated nationalist leader Chiang Kai-shek to Taiwan. Some brought along a stash of stinky tofu, a snack built to survive uncertain times. Taiwan became so obsessed with this smelly treat that it became its unofficial national snack. So if you're ready to test your grit, this is where you would go to sample some top-of-the-line stinky tofu. You can have it stewed or barbecued, braised or deep-fried pickled or steamed. Each method alters the taste, texture, and color of the tofu. Oh, and the smell, too. Some preparations complement its flavor with dried shrimp, bamboo shoots, or mustard greens. You can try it with different sauces, soy, chili, or garlic. You can have your pick. So how does this awful smell come about? If you answer that it's from a special bacterial fermentation, you're right. Each step of the fermentation process adds to the tofu's unique taste and smell. The brine is prepared by mixing fermented milk, meat, and vegetables. Salt and herbs are added, and the concoction is left to air for several months. Once the brine gets all sticky and thick, fresh tofu is marinated in it for at least four to six hours. It's then removed, washed, and refrigerated at four degrees Celsius. This helps it age overnight. The best stinky tofu recipes are closely guarded family secrets. If biting into that stinky tofu isn't much of a hair-raising experience for you, maybe you'd like to try a hairier version. Popular in the Kipusheng village in China's southwestern Yunnan province, hairy tofu has a natural white fuzz to complement its distinctive stench. Hmm, smelly and hairy. Can't go wrong with that. The hair appears after the tofu undergoes its unique fermentation process. Some village families can trace their recipes back to the Ming Dynasty that ruled until 1644. But if you're like me, you have one burning question. Does stinky tofu ever go bad? Not quite. The older it gets, the better it tastes. And if you leave it to ferment for a few extra months, it'll turn into a green, gooey, creamy paste that stinks like death. Mmm, death. My favorite aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Oh, you nasty. 
This protein-rich paste is also said to smoothen and firm your skin. Whether that's true or not, stinky tofu will firm up your resolve and give you a stomach of steel. Think you could stomach more? How about some maggot-filled cheese? Delish. We've got that covered in another episode of Origins of Food.